Hey guys, it's me, Wendy from Weeby Dolls. I thought I would just show you around my bedroom real quick. Before I start my video, um, a couple videos back, a few videos back, I don't remember exactly, I showed you my room and I don't think much has changed since then. <laughs> um, I wanted to show you my a tour of my room, but I was waiting for my headboard to come. Well, a headboard came but not the one that I ordered. I ordered a white headboard. Um, it's a white headboard with tufts and, and like little buttons in it, you know? And they sent me a black one, which as you could see, would look horrible in here. So I'm waiting for the replacement one to be sent and I have no idea if they want the black one back or if we're just supposed to give it away or dispose of it somehow. But I'll probably put it, you know, if they don't want it back. I just, I haven't even opened the package of it. Um, I noticed when they dropped it off that it said black on the package. And there was a little part of the box that was crushed. So I was able to peer inside um, through that little hole and see that it was indeed a black headboard that they sent me. So I didn't even bother opening it because it's not what I wanted. And if they want me to send it back, then you know, it's, I don't have to repackage it all. So anyhow, I'm waiting on that. That is uh, from Wayfair and that is my very first time ever ordering from Wayfair. So I'm a little bit disappointed in there, in them, although they are trying to correct it. So I'll let you know how that goes if they, if they send me the right one. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So anyways, I thought I would just go ahead and show you my room. And then when I get the headboard, I'll show you the headboard. So I think the biggest change since the last video I showed you of last week, um, of course we got a new bed, but I showed you that already. Um, but was I put my tree up, I put my Christmas tree up in my bedroom. So this is our little Christmas tree that I keep in my room. Um, usually I put it up around the beginning of November and I will probably leave it up right through January or at least to the middle of it till I'm really sick of it. Um, but honestly, it just looks so pretty in here. I could leave it up all year. <laughs> but our main Christmas tree, the one that we have in the living room, we won't be putting up until probably December, the first week of December or very late November. But, um, and I added a pillow. I got a little, a really cute fluff, fluffy pillow just for some texture. I have another pillow coming that I also ordered from Wayfair. So hopefully they send me the right one, but it is basically... Um, that turquoise color that you see around the room here, it's that color um, of a pillow. I just wanted a little pop of color in the middle of my bed. So, um, sorry if I'm making you dizzy, I don't mean to. So over here we have a chair, which I am hoping to replace at some point in the new year. Um, not because I don't like this chair, I love this chair, but the cat has really scratched it up. You can't tell from the video, but the cat really did a number on it. So um, I just wanna get a different, another chair, but probably a very similar chair or similar color at least, cause I love that. And then we have a TV, which I very seldom watch up here, but we do have it when I want to, or someone has taken the TV in the living room, which is where I usually sit and root and watch TV. And I don't like to root in my bedroom because I don't want mohair all over my bed. It's just a pain to <laughs> clean it off. So I never root in my bedroom. Um, I just usually root on the couch uh, with my feet up and just watching TV. So I don't watch up here all too often, but once in a while, once in a while, it's nice and cozy to be up here in our, uh, our space and just, you know, have no one bugging me. And I have to sleep with a fan. So I, even in winter, I always have a fan on. It is just the way it is. <laughs> so we have a, a pocket door which I have closed because my house is a little bit noisy right now but over here is where little Miss Louisa sleeps and I'm gonna change her in this video so um, I will be back shortly with that but here is my engagement pictures and my wedding pictures um, with myself and my husband of course so uh, we have those up there and this cool little um, sculpture thingy. I don't even know. So yeah, that's our, our room. Um, some photos of our kids from 
and my husband and myself from camping days gone by and this um, mirror and shelf this belonged to my grandmother for um, she had this in her home but she had it in a gold and I when she gave it to me I loved it and I had it up for a long time as gold but when we put it into our bedroom here um, in this house we had it in our other house our first house um, in our living room and I was okay with the gold but when I put it in here we were rec redecorating our bedroom I spray painted it all white and I loved how it turned out and it's still such a little um, reminder always of my grandmother and this doll was my one of my grandmother's as well and it has that teal color a little bit darker than the stuff I have in my room but it still works with the colors I think so <clears throat> Excuse me, and Peter is pouting because he has PJs on. <laughs> Poor little guy. Are you okay, buddy? Are you having a nap? Are you mad at mommy? Oh, you're so cute. Okay, um, I'm already six minutes in and I haven't even started to change Louisa. So I think this might be a little bit of a long video. So stay tuned if you'd like to see Louisa get a new outfit on. Be right back. Just set up the tripod and look who came running. I missed her running in, it was cute. Hi, Pippa. You say hi to the aunties? No, she's pouting too because she got her PJs on. But they were being a little bit rambunctious this morning. And when I put pajamas on or a shirt on or something, they just kind of calm right down. So, or pout, whatever you want to call it. But <laughs> I had enough of their nonsense. So, especially this guy, he was just into everything, chewing up everything and He's a year old, but he still hasn't outgrown getting into trouble. No, we talk about you, Bubba. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, I'll be right back with Louisa. Okay, my lighting is never super great up here in my bedroom. And I have brought in extra lighting in the past. And I don't know what it is, but I just, maybe it's because there's angled walls. We just get all kinds of shadows. I don't know. I can't figure it out. But I'm going to do the best that I can, and I'm going to change her out of this super cute green um, little crocheted outfit that was made by um, Debbie of Reborn Blessed, and I'm going to change her into this beautiful dress, which is, um, it was handmade by someone on Facebook, I think her name is, I forget, Celia, Celia, something like that. And... Yeah, so I'm going to change her into that. And it comes with a really pretty bonnet. And it comes with these shoes, which I'm probably not going to wear because they look huge. And I had different shoes picked out I was gonna put on her and I think I forgot them downstairs. Okay, grab the booties real quick. I'm just gonna put these on her because they're easy to fit her, I think. Okay. All right, I'll take her little booties off. Her little mittens. Oh my goodness, it has been, Peter, <laughs> it has been so long since I have touched my babies, any of my babies. They are all neglected. But oh my goodness, I missed you. Just handling her now makes me realize I'm, oh my goodness, I should have done this sooner. It's just, I've been so busy. And I know I say that every time, but <laughs> this time of year is, is extremely busy. Like, I just, I mean, full go-go mode. And I think we all are because we're all gearing up for Christmas in our own ways. You know, holiday times is busy for everyone. All right. I just want to get this arm out of here safely. There we go. And I didn't even bring a comb. <laughs> there you go. There you go, sweetheart. That's okay. She's going to wear a bonnet anyway. All right. Now, hopefully this dress will fit her. I haven't tried it on her or anything, but it also comes with really cute little bloomers. 
or diaper cover, some people call it. So I'll put those on first. I was gonna powder her, but my video's just gotten so long already. Showing you guys my room, I'm really excited about it. <laughs> I'm really excited about having a new bed. It has been a long, long time overdue. And it's very comfortable. Oh, you're just a sweet little squish. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Hello. You're just so pretty. Yeah. You're just so pretty. Oh my goodness, that little mouth. <laughs> Love this little one. Oh my goodness, I've missed holding and handling her and giving her little squishes. Yeah, sweetheart. And this little belly. <laughs> okay, let's see how we do with this dress. Well, it should be easy to get over your head. Oh, and there's no elastics. So elastics make me nervous with silicones. I don't know why. There are all your little digits. There you go. <laughs> You're just a sweetheart. There. Oh, she looks pretty in ivory. Ivory, off-white, I don't know, what color do you call it? Winter white. <laughs> There's so many little variations and shades of white. But I'd say this is definitely an off-white or ivory color. Well, let's see if Wendy can do the buttons. <laughs> Where's the buttonhole? This one's tricky. Honestly, do like the ones that are just, they just snap in easy for changing babies. But I guess this is a fancy outfit, so it wouldn't be like this for every day. I think I'm just going to leave that one undone at the top so it's not too tight around her neck. Oh, that looks pretty on you. You little princess, are you still in the camera here? Let me see what we've got going on. Oh, gorgeous girl. And let's see, do the bonnet. I think this dress is really pretty. It could be wintery, summery, like whatever kind of um, occasion you really wanted it to be. See if this will fit. Last time I tried a bonnet on her, it didn't fit. Yeah, this one does. She has a little bit of a big head for her size. <laughs> yes, you do. There. Look how pretty you are. These, little, these don't match very good though. I don't know. These just look so huge for her teeny tiny little feet. There's no way, like look how, how much room there would be. Yeah, I think we'll just put these on even though they're not a perfect match. I'm just gonna leave her socks on just to keep her feet protected. This is fairly soft, but the crochet slippers, I mean, they're fairly soft, but there's not as, you know, super soft, so I don't want it rubbing on her paint. That's why I left the socks on. Extra layer of protection. Yeah. All right, you are almost ready. Now, I usually keep mittens on her. Whoops. I usually keep the mittens on her all the time, like just for protection, but I'll leave them off 
for some photos. And then I'll just put them on after. Oh, she looks so pretty, you guys. Look at her. She's so sweet. There she is. Oh, my pretty girl. <laughs> so there is Louisa all dressed. And, well, she's ready for Sunday best. Maybe I can use, use you for devotion tomorrow. We'll see. I have other babies I want to change, too. And I want to start getting some into Christmas clothes. But I haven't even pulled those out of my closet yet. So... Uh, I've got to see what I have because <laughs> I kind of forget from year to year so what I have and what I don't have what I gave away what I got rid of what I bought last year I don't remember I'll have to see but these little pearls are really pretty these little pearls on all the flowers all right guys I'm kind of rambling and babbling and I know this video has gotten super long so Probably no one's even still watching me <laughs> by now, but I'm going to say goodbye and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.